dream I know Deep up my feelings feel Watch As it, Barrister, on your key, be, if I you chuku a job for yeah, welcome to this program. This uh, our barrister, the man that is so much handsome that I love so much. Please speak to Biafra. Biafra, yeah, good evening, good morning, good afternoon, depending on the location you find yourself at this point in time. Um, it's a pleasure having me in this platform. Uh, I want to thank President Lenten for his efforts and also all those of you who have remained results, who have remained unchecking. Even in this trying period, uh, I, God is with us, and God shall, shall continue to be with us. Thank you for having me. Uh, my apologies for my unavoidable absence few days ago. A lot of my hands are slightly pointed out, so um, I assured him I'll be here today to give people a brief, um, a brief um, facts as regards to what we are passing through, and also uh, the the condition of my client and leader of IPOB. So thank you so much for having me. Ben bless. Thank you very much, Barista. Barista I must tell you something. Please permit me to say this. That you are <laughs> when you told us you are coming, my inbox was raining with messages. Is he coming? Is he coming? Because you are the eyes which their friends are using to see right now as in the heart. You know, say this platform is called as they are. So they were so much hurry, they, 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 they needed you. So now that you are here, be friends, one of go, Barista, 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 I will speedily go to ask you just about a few questions because I know that you have a whole lot of um, entanglement with other uh, arrangements and uh, meetings here and there. Please, first and foremost, please, uh, the first question I want to ask you this evening is uh, I want you to tell us how is Mazin Namdekanu. Uh, uh, um, how is he, why, how is he, how strong is Mazen Namdekano in physical and uh, in the spiritual? Please, uh, they try to tell Biafra because they want to know his mental stability. Uh, thank you so much. I am um, yesterday when I wanted to uh, issue an update, I want to make a kind of a digress from this topic and also to emphasize on, on my commitment and obligations. So my, my head of chambers was like, uh, oh God, why should we be updating the people? I said, no, they, are, they, are, they have to know. Uh, they are in line with my promises because they want to understand, want to have to be told about how he's doing. And also if anything, if I show them, if at any point in time things are not going normal, I will allow the word. I'm not afraid of anybody. So, and um, in keeping in line with that promises, I will continue to, update you i will continue to keep you informed as regards to his uh, state of health condition and also what's happening around him particularly those that are supposed to be made public uh, so um yesterday i was with him yesterday i we had a very well had a very elaborate discussion yesterday and then um, he's firm stable and also strong in his conviction as i pointed out unfortunately and ironically is very, 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 very resolute. Strong. When I mean strong, I mean strong in its convictions. And also unshaken in all sense of faith. So, uh, and when I compare or contrast what I'm seeing about the social media, how people are panicking. I was like, I wish uh, you can see people, how people are panicking about you. But it's very, very strong and very, very, very high in spirit. Uh, I can confirm that to people. So there's no cause for alarm. Uh, uh, at any point in time, I suspect or I observe anything going on wrongly, I am under compelling obligation to inform the world. It's my duty to do that. And of course, trust me, I will, I will, trust me, I will do just that. So thank you so much. Thank you very much, Barista. Thank God that you saw him yesterday. So you are the eyes which Biafran's worldwide are using to see our leader right now. Because the other time they were saying, uh, snap picture, do video, do this, but those things are not applicable. It's not... Uh, I, 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 I told them, because some people are saying, let me correct this narrative, it's wrong, wrong impression. I don't know why our people find it difficult to understand a simple instruction on say, or simple explanation. I made it known to people during our last uh, discussion on this platform that in view of the environment 
uh, our clients presently be in the town, they are not allowed you to come in with any form of gadget. Even wash, you don't put on wash while going in there. So you will not have any 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 opportunity of snapping any from any picture or doing any, any of such thing with him. So what I've told them, I've told them that I will be telling them nothing but the truth. And I will say it as long as it may look. So if he's not doing well, I will say it to the world. Uh, so we have other arrangement, other discussions with him that has nothing to do with uh, I cannot be discussed on this platform. That's, that are pure legal, legal strategies, so which are meant for our theme. And we, are, we have taken it up from that, uh, that aspect. So he's doing well, and uh, I wouldn't want people to be telling me, or oh, to snap picture with him, or oh, do video with him. <laughs> Fuck, I know it. No, no, no. So once you hear from me, believe me, he's good. Uh, yeah. So uh, he's good. He's not good, I'll tell you. So simple. Thank you. Beautiful. Thank you very much for that clarification because uh, as known in Marco Waru, Egewaru, Numu Biafra, you guys have heard it that you cannot even go in with ordinary wristwatch uh, to go and see uh, um, anybody that is detained at the, at the DSS uh, office. Uh, Barrister, um, we all know quite right that uh, the court is on vacation right now. Uh, the world, uh, Biafra at large, would like to know uh, what are the measures that you are putting together, you and your team, uh, putting together to see what you can do uh, in regards to uh, keeping him there? Because we cannot wait. You cannot wait. Dear friends, are impatient. Our patient is already running away from us. We are. We are. We are. We are. We are not. We are not going to wait until that uh, is it October or September when they say they are going to bring him. So, what are the measures that uh, the team are putting together to see if uh, there's how they can bring him out? Uh, to speak to Bia France during this vacation period, if it's possible, please go ahead and give us elaborate on that. Give, elaborate on that, please, sir. Thank you so much. Um, we had envisaged this situation on 26th of July 2021, the matter came up when it was not produced in court. And uh, we informed the court about our desire to show that this matter is hard during vacation, in view of the sensitive nature of the matter. In view of him, um, is also his um, the condition because uh, we also want him to be taken good care of. Uh, we we respect him, respect his position, respect him, honor him too. So we don't want him to be kept in in incarceration at the infinitum. So uh, we we that application was made before the court on that day formally. I made it in court, and the court uh, expressed his um, readiness to readiness to to oblige us even during this vacation. So, and directed that we should apply to CJ for fiat because she can only sit upon being granted fiat uh, upon the authority of the CJ in view of the fact that we're on vacation. So, and that has been done. And uh, we are following up. We are following up expeditiously. And uh, I believe um, in the next couple of um, days or thereabouts, I uh, will inform you, give you, come out with a positive uh, response to this effect. Uh, but I'm sure that um, I believe God firmly that um, something will happen any month from now, and uh, so I can we can go back to court. So we want to go back. We are we are very desirous of going back to court as quick as possible, even during this vacation. And we have initiated the process towards 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 doing that. So uh, believe in God that um, that will be feasible. It will be feasible, more especially when the court has expressed a readiness to 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 be available for this trial during vacation, because that will have been our only impediment. But my Lord said, it of all, you can apply, apply once the fiat is granted, I'll be here to conduct the trial. And also, also the director, the, the, the prosecution to do that, but you know they will not do it because they're not, even if the matter didn't go on, it's not their business, so, but we have done it on our own part, so we are following up. Thank you. So, obviously, any moment from now, I will come back to you with a very wonderful and a positive response to that effect. Beautiful. Thank you very much, Barrister. Please, I want you to um, elaborate just a little bit more because some people may not understand all these uh, all these terminologies, all these legal terminologies. Please, just I want you to break it down a little bit. Okay. You know, our... okay let me come. Okay, let, let me, me come show... back to the. Let, let me, me tell you. Back the... to the... Let, let me tell you the area I want you to touch, please. Okay. Okay. So that you come down to Lehman language so that they will understand the area I want okay. you to touch is. Now that everybody knows that court is on vacation, uh, I want you to explain to us if um, in the constitution of the country, once a court is on vacation, is there, a, 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 um, is there a, 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 should I say, an opportunity or should I say a cross that court can hold even when they are there in, uh, in vac on vacation? 
or not. Uh, you know, just explain this because some people will say, since court is on vacation, what are we talking about bringing him to court? Because everybody is thinking that it is until that date when court opened that they're going to bring him. So what is the possibility? Okay, ordinarily, when courts are on vacation, subsisting matters, as in matter going on, matters going on in courts will be suspended. Okay. Apart from cases they classified as matters that can be had during vacations, like fundamental rights suits or matters of urgency, uh, mm -hmm. like and also probably a little, uh, little petition matters. So, so these are matters that can be entertained by the vacation judge during vacation. So, mm -hmm. and of course, in our own case, the matter has been all since 2015 before the before our client was abducted in Kenya on 19th of June and brought okay. to this place and smuggled in through a surgical transition. So. Uh, but that does that is not uh, the end of it because the court can only sit in cases such as ours as with the permission of the CJ. That permission is what we call fiat in Lego Palace. Fiat okay. permission the uh, permission to give the court to go ahead, go and sit hear this case during vacation. So the and the, the court required the permission, the approval of the CJ. To go and do that because it's not uh, it's not conventional for the court to do it, to see it in vacation apart from vacation courts uh, so and that permission is what the court has directed us to apply for and we have applied for it in line with the provisions of the law because even the law the the the, the rules of court allows us to make such application for court to direct our law my lord handed this matter to see it. so we have done that so, and once that permission or approval, you call whatever you call it, approval or permission is given to the Honorable Justice Nyako to sit on this case, that is final. The court will start sitting during the vacation. But when refused, if refused, assuming in the unlikely event that the application is refused, then we we'll have to wait till October 21st to come back to court. So, but um, I don't think uh, there will be any reason for refusal because the court expressed. The court told us in court, my lord told us in court, I mean, the judge told us in court that uh, that she's ready to hear this application, to hear to conduct this trial, as in to go on with this trial during vacation. So that is the fundamental factor to be considered. Because if the court is not disposed towards hearing the application or hearing the suit during vacation, then the CJ may not possibly impose uh, direct the judge to go ahead against us. It's also the court was to be resting now. So the court told us in open court that she's ready to hear it during this vacation. So that should have been the the fundamental factor to be considered by the honorable CJ at the point of um, uh, considering application for fiat. So for that permission. So and I believe um, I believe uh, there will be most certainly positive outcome. So or better as aside this I ordinarily uh, it's not a matter of course for court to sit during vacation because vacation has been declared. Vacation is just like a public holiday. So, and uh, when this is it's public holiday is for the courts. Yeah, so this is the time for them to go and rest for 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 a, for a particular period of time. So within that period, they will use it to some use to travel, attend to their medical health, to their to their uh, personal needs, and also uh, also read books too. So uh, it's not the time for them to go back to court apart from judges appointed to sit on vacation. There are judges appointed to sit on vacation, during vacation. So this is the, uh, uh, this is the situation. So I believe that I'm, I've been able to uh, explain the manner how people understand. Or should I speak in Igbo language for them to understand? I hope I've done, I've done it, I've done justice to this explanation. They might understand it. Or should I go in Igbo language or, 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 are you with me? Hello? Hello? Are you hearing me? I'm not. You're not talking. Talented, you're not talking.
sorry sorry barrister i'm very very sorry about that um network uh, uh little uh, um intermittent please i'm very very sorry about that please uh, please bear friends forgive us you all know that um this is electronics sometimes it might function so Biafra, um barrister haven't answered all that please i have another question to throw to you and this question is talking about um uh, to proceed you know um the international court on this uh, on this issue this particular pro uh, uh, case we are handling right now or mazenam the canoe what do you think and how are your team going to handle this case before the international uh, proceedings because people have known that Mazen Nandekano was abducted in a, in a different country and brought him and brought to Nigeria and that is called um, extraordinary rendition and I, I believe that international law has something to do with this so are we uh, what are we expecting from this illegal luminary are we expecting that we be talking about the charges they gave to him and leave the 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 case that the crime that they have committed, which is a, a extraordinary rendition of Mazen Namdekan back to Nigeria. So I, will, I want you to please throw a little bit light to this so that dear friends may understand what is happening because myself, I'm not very happy about it. Okay, thank you. Um, what I will say now is that uh, I have to be conscious of a number of things in response to this uh, question. One, uh, I wouldn't want us to continue to exposing our strategies before the public, uh, particularly the legal teams we have agreed to be circumspect of um, uh, our things, our disclosures to the public, because this program now is being listened to even by the people uh, we are also in court with, of course, you know. So um, mm -hmm. what I can tell you at this stage is that um, our partners, Blindsman and Co, and also are on it. Uh, actions are being taken, even in Kenya, uh, 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 and also are being maintained also in International Criminal Court. Because what happened in, in Kenya on 19th of uh, June 2021 is a gross violation of humanitarian laws, and United Nations Conventions, and also Geneva, Geneva Treaty, which I'm done, I just adopted uh, and signed a 2 1. So, uh, the, we have a clear lay down law for extradition persons who are accused of committing an offense in a foreign in a foreign land. So uh, that that matter has been overlevelled. That um, uh, the, that law that overlevelled in several um, interviews uh, and also media uh, discussions. Uh, so we the Nigeria and Kenya uh, uh, committed a source. Uh, a crime because it's a crime because and they wish uh, we have um, uh, we have invited relevant uh, uh, international agency to investigate uh, so and they've been investigated as I speak to you now so and uh, in the course of investigating them we also have to be very conscious of things we say to avoid uh, prejudicing what they are doing as I speak to you uh, so because uh, it's a very serious uh, uh, it's a very serious matter. It's a very serious matter, and uh, which this is a very, uh, this is a very serious concern too. And um, I'm happy with the response of international community, despite the 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 uh, the lukewarm attitude of the British authority, uh, because I've several accused them of collaboration in this uh, case. But I don't want to go into details because I know um, all these things. The facts now disposal will come will come and be open because of time. Uh, so we have maintained we have maintained uh, our partners also uh, and my partners in UK uh, and also US and um, and other places in Germany too. They are, we have maintained several uh, uh, legal actions against uh, against the corporates in this in this uh, instance. So so I may I may not I may I may I may seek also uh, I, I apologize for not going further than this uh, because of. Um, a number of reasons I've been able to highlight here um, and, and my introductory said because I wouldn't want us to be discussing strategies for adopting at international in space and it's all right. handling gross violation of um, his fundamental rights. So, it's all right. So I I thank you so much. 
I understand that. Exactly. Please, um, Mark, there is something. Mark, there is something. Mark, Mark, Mark. I trust. I trust you. And there is something that is bothering me. You know, this is a plus to the question I intended to ask you. I watched a video where uh, President Muhammad Buhari went to uh, United Nations and was conversing for the freedom of Western, the people of Western Sahara and. Um, Palestinian to stand as a state. They ask, telling the world that um, they have rights for self determination and nobody should stop them from you know from you know exercising their rights. You know, and that now takes me back to the issue of Mazen Namdekan, who also is asking for the self determination of the people of Biafra. Is there anything you can you know explain a little bit in regards to legal terms and? Uh, what have you in regards to that uh, two scenarios? Because Mazen Namdekanu is now being um, apprehended and he is under incarceration and they are putting charges on him. But the president of the country went as far as United Nations to converse for another nation to also have give it of, uh, for, for the people to have their own self determination. So, as a legal luminary, I want you to you know give us a little bit hint in regards to that. It's disturbing me. I'm sorry for us to ask you this question, but I have concern about it. It's allowed. The, the, the point is that uh, if you are following my if you are following my updates in this regard, and also and other lawyers who are also in the matter, it, we have we have obviously said it. Uh, just we we we're just trying to reenact what the law says. That right of self determination is sacrosanct and inalienable. It's a right which has been domesticated into our law, and has become part of Nigerian law today. Uh, so uh, that brings to mind. I, I've said this in several forums that since members of IPOB has been taken to court in their numbers hundreds. Can you tell me any of them that have been convicted in exercise of this right? The answer is no. Mm. But once we get to the court, the court to understand the position of the, the position as regards to the right to self determination. So, and we have succeeded in getting them out from court. And, and most times, with um, punitive damages, costs being awarded against the federal government, we have a plethora of costs awarded against them today. So, which is still hanging on their neck in the, by various, by various courts. So, what uh, what President Mohamed Bugari said is, in fact, doing our case for us because uh, it will be a reference point in the course of the proceedings, which I may not wish to go for. Yes. We have all the we have all the clips, and also we have assembled them. Mm -hmm. So we are going to use mm -hmm. this in the fullness of time because it's also mm -hmm. helping us in our case. So thank you yes. so much. Yes, uh, Barista, thank you. And uh, before you go, please, I would like you to uh, tell us if there's any message from our leader whom we all are looking up. Is there any message he sent you, maybe something he tell you to tell your friends, please, in regards to those who are dying and thinking about him? What is the people advice coming from him? People should stop dying. People should stop dying. He sends across to people a message of hope. Remain resolute and not shaking a year's off. And also prayerful in time like this. What is needed now is prayers for him. He's passing a trying period, which must come to an end one day. And I, I, I assured you that it will help end the praises. Uh, yes, so sir. if you have opportunity of seeing him, you know that Namdekan is very firm and high in spirit. So I want people, I want his followers and also his supporters to emulate him. His strong spirit, he shouldn't despair, shouldn't lose hope. Shouldn't be shaken and pray for him more importantly. That's the most important thing. Pray for him. He needs to be, he needs to, he needs to be prayed for. He needs to uh, God needs to protect him and God needs to guide him. We need to pray for his protection, for for God to always be with him. And uh, because now he's he communes with God almost on every hour of the day. He's now praying morning after night. Let me let me let me shock you now. Let me shock you now. I, I, I have to say this to you. And it's for you to learn. Do you know, in the course of my discussion about what our legal strategies in court, in, in, in court do you know before I will say a word, our client, Mazin Namikan, will say, Jofa, hold on, let me say something. I have this message in, in the night. I will say this to you. 
And exactly what you will tell me is what I have in mind. Exactly what you tell me wow. is what I wow. have in mind. That will tell you that he has gone far. So wow. he's doing well, he's doing well, he's praying, and that God is answering our prayers and he's committing everybody in prayer. So we need to pray for him too. And also pray for us because uh, we are the battle, we're in the battle front. So a lot are going on now. A lot are going on now. People are being taunted. People are being chased. People are being uh, wallet. People are being ambushed. So let the eyes of the enemies never see us. So and they will believe that God will continue to guide us to who are at the forefront. And uh, there's no weapon of the enemy shall see light of the day of our life because we are there to do justice. We are there to set our people free. We are there to ensure that He's granted freedom. That's all, because he has committed no offense on the law. And so I will encourage you people to be resolute, to be shaken and prayerful in times like this. Thank you, and God bless you. Thank you very much, Barista Ifanye Jofo. You are one of us, and you are the man that we are looking up to make sure that our leader is, is, uh, is um, you know, released soon. Uh, be before you say your, your closing remark, Barista, um, I want to ask this, just a very short question, only one line can help me. What is the um, the people who are being wallet, the people who are being hunted, the people who are being kidnapped, all these things that the, the government of the state is doing to us. If at the end of the day we finish and win this case, which I know we are going to win, what is going to be the punishment going to the, uh, the state of Nigeria that they have committed against their friends? In, you know, in all the matter, all, in all our applications before the courts, particularly in regards to people who are, who are arrested, are being incarcerated as president, because a lot of people are being, are being, are being detained in various detention facilities of the state's security, both the police, the SSS, and the soldiers. So they have arrested our people in their numbers, in the thousands, and being detained today. So, and we are vigorously pursuing their freedoms in courts. So, and uh, part of our relief, fundamental reliefs in all the places we are filing in court is for punitive damages, what we call a like, compensatory damage. So, you have to pay compensation to them on account of that detention. So, and I, that's, I don't think I've done any matter uh, affecting uh, members of IPOB that were illegal to them and the court never awarded damages. So, I, 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 some, a judgment was just delivered last week in, by Omar Umar High Court, court number two. I may not mention the person's name. And the court, the court number two, awarded the damages of $5 million against the police for illegal detention and torture of the person involved. So, and that's the position. I'll make it public in the course of time. I don't want to make it public for reasons that's not to me now. So we have always make sure that damages follow the uh, the acts of torture that are being subjected to. So, and let me say this to you. That's the only sacrifice you pay for Agitating for right, but it will come to end, uh, end to an end one day. So I, I usually advise to skill violence because once we go to court, we win. win. That's all that about it. Win, right? Win. So uh, once you are operating within the confines of law, and we should have remained law abiding in all your activities. I've been mentioning that. I've been saying that. IP members have been law abiding in all your activities. So we'll go to court and argue it out. God has given us the wisdom. And God will continue to promote us and grant us more wisdom to defend them. So I, I don't think there's any opinion of our family member that will be convicted for uh, for extra for mayor for exercising his mayor right as put on the constitution. I don't think it can happen. It cannot happen under the face of this uh, this I don't think any there's no court that, any court that will do that. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you very much. Please give us your closing remark because I know that you are your time is already ringing. Thank you so much. Um, I just like as uh, I said, what we want now is prayers. Uh, and I want us to reduce this number of dreamers you are having in their platforms, in Facebook and everywhere. I'm beginning <laughs> to appreciate that people have a lot of dreamers now and prophets and prophetess who are <laughs> giving trouble. So, and it's doing, it's giving us concern. It's giving us concern. <laughs> And it's because it's causing problem. Somebody mm -hmm. will sleep and wake up and start sending something on, on various platforms. That people will be calling me on phone. It's Honestly. giving me concerns. Somebody will sleep. I don't know whether maybe after taking some drinks, you go back to go to bed and then start dreaming about we are not the kind of being tortured. I tell you, as <laughs> and it become an issue to us. 
So, confirm close time, the time you use in that dreaming and professor, professor, sign, right? Uh, yeah. Time you use in making uh, dreaming and uh, so. dream something uh, good. Uh, so, to for prayers, it's more important. Yes. And, and the top giving us, sending those things to us that uh, it's about to be, uh, somebody said he will be killed this night or he has been tortured, he's dying, he's crying. <laughs> those things are distracting, us, distracting people. So yes. that's part of the things I want to add to what I said. So it will help us most. So those who are doing it too, they just from doing it. It's a distraction. I call yes. it a distraction, but it doesn't work for me. And so mm -hmm. if you have a prophecy, pray over it. That let's convert it to a good prophecy. Don't it shouldn't mm -hmm. be negative. Because. And you have a if you dream, if you have a dream, convert that dream to a good dream, so to positive dreams, right? Yes. Thank you so yes. much. So convert this message to them. Thank you so much. I appreciate. I appreciate you all for giving me the opportunity to 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 to, to, to be part of the platform. So and I I'll okay. continue to participate in this program from time to time to update you on what is playing out. And also be also circumspect of fake news. Fake news all over the places now. Uh, yes. have to, uh, I I have to you have to take the pains of writing this morning because I got worried when I, I had about before my my meeting with him yesterday. It's, it was all over the places that Britain has gone to. As a matter of fact, somebody called me from the US. <laughs> that was two days ago to interview me on that, on that aspect. He said, oh I want to God. find out the outcome of the visit of the, of the United States, of the, of the, the Commission to Nigeria, the outcome mm -hmm, of their mm -hmm. visit, what they've mm -hmm. done, whether they've, uh, whether they've taken him back to the UK. And I became embarrassed. So, mm -hmm. and as a matter of fact, these people have not even set their eyes on him. 